that you can see on this side of the face. So if you have a mouth, this is identical on both sides. E. I'm just going to draw an axis going through the perfect mouth from the front. If you were to draw it in this perspective, it would squish one side into a really smaller version, as you can see, like this. Really as if you just squashed half of it. And then the other half just stays the same and is the normal size. There you go. Axis going through the middle. But as you can see, one side is much shorter than the other one. There you go. If there's any questions, feel free to ask them. And um, if not, I will just shortly explain growth of hair on the skull and then we're done. Okay, I picked a... Oh, I see Matthias is writing something. I'll wait for his question. Or not. <laughs> I'm not sure. No, oh, he said he was writing, but I'll just continue and if he feels to say something, I'll just Okay, there's a specific area of the skull that has uh, hair growing on it. Um, many people make the mistake of just starting the roots of the hair right underneath, uh, right above the brow, which is of course not very natural looking. Um, in fact, there is only specific regions that actually can have any kind of, and I'm just marking these in red so you can tell. So for males, of course, um, you've got the beard that continues on around here. Right, actually. So that's, that's that. Matthias has a question concerning the mouth. Go ahead, shoot. Um, I'll be listening. He's typing. Let's just wait. If I wanted to draw a profile, how can I make the mouth look natural? It always looks weird when I try it. Okay. Um, to draw the mouth from the profile is, of course, a different matter. I will just illustrate this real quick. I'm just going to draw the profile real quick. A bit on incomplete, but I will explain what I have done right away. There we go. There's a mouth from the profile, profile view. It is uh, all rather simple. If you want to stay realistic in your style, it's very simple. All you need to do is look at somebody and see how the curves go from the side. If I go sideways, you can tell that right under the nose, it goes inwards and then slightly bounces up as I have sketched here, it's really just a bunch of curves. First it goes inward for the nose, then it goes up and out for this little crease that you all know, this part, this goes upward like that, and then you draw the upper lip, the upper lip which goes inward again, and then the lower lip which is another bouncy little part. And of course, depending on how full you want to make the lips, you can vary the size. 
So sometimes you can draw really big kissable lips and other times you, you want to draw somebody who looks a bit more mean or stiff. You draw very thin lips so you don't bulge it out as much and things. And then right underneath, of course, this part. You can see sideways before the chin comes out there's another little dent right there so it's really just an out in out out thing and um, it's really about just burying it up the the line that goes inward side oops line that goes inward sideways also depends on what um, face you're making so if you're smiling obviously it will go up so if somebody's smiling, it would probably go like this, or, or like this if it's more relaxed, or just somebody's not quite happy, they go like this. Somebody has their mouth slightly open, you can even just do this without changing the position of the lips. It still looks natural. There's a lot you can do. And uh, naturally, though, since since the lips have this shape, like bent cupids, oh, I think it's called. So it's kind of wavy like this naturally. But again, you can vary it up. There's people with very straight lips as well that just go like this. <laughs> so just best thing is to try it out, but. The main idea is to just look at real people and try to sketch it off um, photographs, for example. So there you go. That's uh, the basic of the mouth. I hope that helps. <laughs> so anyways, we're, uh, we're basically through with this. Um, <laughs> thank you. And... Um, yeah, if, if anybody has any more questions, feel free to ask. Any more questions? I think we're done then. Thank you very much for your attention, and see you soon in the Comic Academy Scrubber Club. Bye.